Hey guys and girls, it's Mark from Gunplay Network, and today, the special boxing, unboxing, sorry, continue with this RG St. Andrew, courtesy of Side7 Exports. Remember to check out the link below for all your Gundam Base Limited and P-Bandai needs, direct from Japan. Don't forget our discount code at the checkout. This is a 2017 kit, but the original make was 2016. And it's a metallic gloss injection, um, but this kit is actually pretty glossy as standard. So I think we're gonna just see some special kind of pigments in or, you know, run into the plastic. And this is a Gundam base exclusive, so you pretty much need to go through a third party or pick this up in Japan yourself at the, uh, the Gundam base. They don't sell them elsewhere. All right, so if we go to the side of the box, it includes a special blue uh, Gundam base logo uh, base for it to stand on. Kind of cool. Uh, what else we got talking about the um, metallic gloss injection Japanese though I think unfortunately I know some English um, the real grade what it's about now there's a lot of kind of umming and ahhing about this kit I've been wanting to tackle it for a while so I'm pretty grateful for that uh, just some posing there there's more logos and there's some more information on the Gundam base itself one day hopefully after all this nightmare of COVID ends I'll get there uh, just showing you all the layout and kits and stuff they display and show. Uh, now, um, that's just the regular info. And obviously being Gundam Base and P-Bandai, these boxes don't show too much. So, uh, what do we got here? I can't show you my usual kind of unboxing where it's all stacked neatly. And then I'll, you know, it, this is, there is a lot of runners in this box. Uh, <coughs> hence why it's so thick. But if we move those out of the way and we've got the booklet. Pretty standard, there's gonna be nothing different from the original booklet. And you get a piece of paper, which I'm not sure you really need because that whole Gundam base thing is just one runner. I don't know why it's included like that. I mean, I guess because it's molded that way, but yeah, you don't really need instructions to say clip here. You're gonna clip and snip the edges yourself, so okay. All right, uh, I'm trying to light this, guys, but I'm having a lot of white flary thing going on at the moment. Um, there's your standard real grade sticker sheet. Uh, you get some metallic foils, cameras, joint covers, or metallic joints. You get uh, caution markings. You get some kind of like line art or um, stripey decals. And that's, that's it. So it's pretty standard real grade stuff. Now, like I said, 2017 kit with an original 2016 make, so you're gonna get the standard guide, number 22 in the line, nothing different there. Taking a look on the inside, we're back to the old school B-frame uh, runner where that's mainly what it's made up of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 runners, I think it is. Uh, times two a couple there, maybe 14. Now, if we move into, you get, that's the real real grade frame standing up top there. And we're going to start at the feet and legs. Pretty normal for a real grade. Now, this is based upon the Mark II frame. So that's where some of the problems come in. Great, great real grade, but not meant to have all this extra weight. Move through the legs, showing you the bend. You then go into the waist unit, which I have heard is part of the problem with this kit too much excess weight on top of the waist and causes some issues. Uh, there you go, finish the waist and legs, put them together. Seems kind of familiar as I look it over, but with some extras. Uh, then you're on to the arms. Okay, finish that, flex up, test it all moves okay. And that's important with the real grade guys, they put that in there for a reason, you do need to flex it as you go. Uh, just some details on the thrusters there. All right, you're onto the body unit, which you'll see the round cockpit um, in the middle. Now, I, I do like what Bandai did here. So for the sleeves markings, you get a gold and a black piece and they push together rather than having to do reverse washers and ridiculous stickers. Uh, once you've done the body, shoulder units uh, go on top with the arms, uh, the power cable waist joint, one, two clicks in place there. Okay, you've done the head, you're doing the backpack unit, which is epic on this thing. Just one of the biggest backpacks I've ever seen. 
maybe next to the high new V-Ray, is it? The HG on that was pretty pretty big too. Uh, so there you go, you just go through assemble, you've got those long tanks. I think the Stein comes with a shorter tank. Uh, onto the weapons, so rifle, shield, beam axes. This thing's got a lot of accessories, which is really cool. You probably won't display it with all, but it's great to have them. Uh, there's the, I do like the rifle on this because you then get the underslung grenade launcher. And if you buy the accessories kit, uh, that was P Bandai only, you can get the bazooka, which should attach to the bottom as well. Now, this is just showing you how you can attach the beam axes, the grenade launcher, and make the shield like offensive as well as defensive. There's, you've got your action base adapter and talking about some posing and not quite, but you can almost go open hatch. It's got some kind of like opening gimmicks, all the thrusters open up. There's your caution and decal marking guide as well as your painting guide and your little fake Shara's and will slash full frontal painting guide. Alrighty, let's take a look at the runners. So A runner, mixed bag as usual. You kind of got some silver for the power cables. You've got your weapon parts in a metallic gray injection kind of color. You've got a pearl white for the tanks. It's kind of hard to show, but trust me, it's pearl white, not just flat or gloss white. Uh, you then got your B-Runner, and MS Joint 5 is actually, I checked this up, it is the Mark II frame. So it, they've just recycled, purely recycled the Mark II frame. Now, you've got your C-Runner, and this thing is just gorgeous red guys it has this kind of like a oh, i don't know how to describe it if you see on our instagram i put some photos up i took some photos in the sunlight the other day it's just this really brilliant gloss red now i know the standard rg sananju was a gloss red but this thing is just it's another level up from that like it's like someone painted the kit already for you all right now d runner you actually get two D runners. Now this has got legs, arm covers, shoulders, uh, backpack, vernier, thruster covers. Uh, it's all, that's why you get two of them. There's a lot of red there. You got some hand covers. Now if I can focus up a little bit more, try and pull back some contrast, might be able to show you. you do. There is a lot of like, there's some panel detail as well. It's really cool. There we go. That's a bit better. So yeah, so that's got this really gorgeous red, kind of like a brand new Ferrari. Again, D-Runner times two. Now you get your E-Runner, E1 and E2. Now obviously when they do this, uh, that's because you've got a lot of parts and they need to double up but it's not all the same. So E1 and E2, the top half is the same. E1 includes an extra bottom section and that's in a metallic gloss injected gray. F1, F2, same deal. A lot of parts double up. Bottom half is missing on F2. F1, uh, same thing. This is inner frame, waist, uh, leg covers, um, shin, uh, sorry, ankle cover, all that sort of stuff. And that's all frame colored metallic gloss. G, this is your black and it's like, it's a black gloss injected with a, almost like a silver or white flake through it. It looks really nice. The H runner, this is the, I don't know if the standard one is this gold metallic uh, plated, electro plated gold. It is really sexy. The H2 runner, not so much. This is the ugly sister. It is just a flat gold yuck, but it serves a purpose, I guess. It doesn't need to be, you know, everywhere. The eye runner times two, this is a nice silver kind of, not metallic, but just a very nice silver, and it's um, inner frame parts as well. There's your J uh, runner, and that's times two, because that's all of your beam weaponry, two beam sabers, two beam axe, long and short. And that's it, guys. Fill that box back up, and I'm ready to tackle this much-debated RG kit for you. 
If I end up doing a frame fix, which I'm going to try to stop it from falling over and stuff, um, we'll talk you through how I did that and I'll put some pictures or something in. And I think this awesome RG kit deserves a chance to take look good beside your unicorn kits. Thanks to Side7. Remember to check out the link below and I'll catch you next time.